This is probably the best way for, or one of the best, it's not the, there is no one best way, but this is a, this is a good one. If you don't live in the U.S., most common question I get, I don't live in the U.S., people don't make as much money in my country. Sell on Amazon, because Amazon ships 45 million products around the world, but the U.S. is their biggest market. You could live in India and sell on Amazon. You could live in Mozambique and sell on Amazon. There's no more excuses. All these people making excuses about where they live, as long as you have the internet. Now, China makes it hard, so, but China has its own other ecosystem of money. Anywhere has the internet. I've seen pictures now of people in the rainforest and people got cell phones, they climb up trees to get a signal, like the 14-year-old kids. This right here is one of the best ways. The problem is school system is behind, so everybody comes out of high school, not one minute is spent. Not one minute of your high school or college degree was spent learning how to sell on the biggest platform mankind has ever built, right there. Biggest platform. They're shipping a thousand products a second, more than that, a second. Hundreds of millions of people have their credit card already stored, which means it's very easy to sell to them because one of the biggest reasons people don't buy from your website is they don't want to go and find their credit card and enter it in. They don't trust you and they don't trust your shipping. Amazon built, they've got robots and drones delivering stuff. If you don't know about Amazon, you should go back to your public school or your private school. You should go back to your college, hold up your piece of paper, your diploma, and go, let me get this straight. I paid for this thing, a lot of money, and you didn't teach me about this thing right here. Not even one hour, but you did teach me what a gerund was, what a dangling participle was. Grammar you taught me, but never one thing on how to secure my financial future. So then you go in there, you ask for your money back, you take all the money back from your college degree, and you use that to start selling on Amazon. Buy some inventory, buy a thousand units, Ideally, here's the ideal Amazon situation, I mean uh, business plan, a thousand units, but you can start with smaller ones, uh, less inventory or less expensive ones, okay? Then you need to select products, so this is out of order, right? Obviously, you have to select the product before you buy a thousand of it, so you got to know how to research it. It's not as hard as you think. Watch this. Amazon literally has a little teeny hack that I, I've been showing people. Liz was here the other day showing people. Look at this hack. Let's pick an item. What's something you bought today, Zach, that you can share legally on camera? Um, Not yayo. Let's put, what happens if you put in yayo on here or cocaine? I wonder what happens. <laughs> yayo. <laughs> yayo wall clock. Oh, they don't have scarf? Oh, I got a guaranteed business thing for you guys, just me messing around. Everybody who likes Scarface likes the line, you got the yayo? <laughs> so you should make a t-shirt that should rank number one right here, and you should literally sell the crap out of that t-shirt. There's so, like, whatever the bounds of your creativity, that's the bounds of where your bank account's gonna be. I had, I had uh, lunch, uh, dinner last year with Steve Ballmer. That's the richest guy I've ever had dinner with. $42 billion, just me and him sitting there. He owns the Clippers. You know you're rich. The Clippers were on sale for $1 billion and he really wanted it. So he just put in an offer. He's like, I'll just give you $2 billion. He literally, you know how like when you go to a cab and it's 18 bucks and you're like, just 20, just keep the change. He was like, I really want this. It's one. Here's two. He gave him an extra thousand million dollars. That's how rich is. Anyway, I was talking to him about the secret to growing your bank account, growing your business, scaling. He said it's all creativity. Where you cap out at your creativity level. People always think it's like, oh, Ty, it's you know, if I just had this one thing here, if I had an MBA. Now there's a lot of MBAs that are stupid. I've fired PhDs. I've fired people from Ivy League schools. Okay. There's some smart ones, a lot of stupid ones. Um, people think, oh, if I just knew this one thing. The only thing you should invest in is expanding your creativity. And part of the way you expand your creativity, which is why I assume you're on this call, is learning new angles on life. And I'm trying to show you creatively. I didn't plan to do Yayo. I'm telling you, if you started making Scarface shirts, they will sell. Let, let me just look at this. I haven't even researched this. 
I was just kind of joking. They got Scarface post. Now, you'll run into some copyright stuff, but not necessarily if. Ask for forgiveness rather than permission. Ask for forgiveness. No, no not just that. If you say you got the yayo, you, they cannot trademark yayo. And anybody who's a Scarface fan, look at these dumb shirts. No real Scarface fan. I mean, this is so unoriginal here. Why aren't people putting the greatest line from Scarface is what? In a, this is America. First you get the power, then you get the money, then you get the woman. Every guy who watches that sees that and is like, ah, I need to get power and money. <laughs> Even Zach, who doesn't care that much about power and money. I saw him after he watched that. He was flexing in the mirror. He was throwing dollars up. Taking money from homeless. He was taking from money to a homeless and going to a strip club. Um, but look, nobody's creative here. Nobody. This is the the limits of their creativity. This. This horrible shirt. Now let's see if they're making it. They must be making a little money because when it's sponsored, they're actually paying money to boost. So they must be getting some sales or you wouldn't boost it unless they inherited dad's money or something. Now you go down here to the bottom, we'll do a little competitive analysis. Oops, I went too far. So right here, you see their bestseller rank. These guys ain't making any money. They're number 742,000. They probably sell one shirt a year. Maybe not that bad, but it's not good. So you can beat that with creativity. Seven customer reviews. Uh, what you could do real, this is not a business that's gonna make you eight figures, but the process of cracking this code, you go, you target Scarface, um, Scarface forums, Scarface Reddit stuff, Scarface um, Facebook and Instagram pages. I guarantee you there are those. Start talking about Scarface a lot and be like, post the picture of you wearing that shirt. I can't believe somebody doesn't have, first you get the money, then you get the, I mean, first you get the power, then you get the money. Wait, which one do they say? Yeah, first you get the power, then you get the money. Money, then the power, then the wood. Money, then the power. Yeah, money. Zach, don't try to mess me up on this live call. <laughs> Zach's out here saying it backwards just to mess with me. Um, but right there, that's a business. I just giving away. That's a simple business that anyone age 10 to age 80 could start right now. Here's the beautiful thing. You can let Amazon, sh instead of you having to do like eBay, where you literally box up the stuff and mail it, they do all that for you. Jeff Bezos has robots in warehouses that will literally ship your T-shirts for them. And you can get t-shirts printed for cheap. I would do, I would get, now it looks like these guys are skirting this, this law on trademark. So maybe, I don't know how they got that, but this is, this, this is the picture you want on it. You could get a t-shirt person to put this on the front. Now you probably not told, right here. That's the scene that everybody knows. Pacino, what was that actor's name? He died, didn't he? No, he was, he was in uh, Breaking Bad. So you get this scene right here. You put that on a T-shirt. You put first you get the power and the money. Then you get the power. That This is just a good This is a good beginner idea. Okay. Someone said, Ty, what are we doing? Success with Sully. I made 100 grand a year uh, profit on eBay and drop shipping. Who got in the Amazon test group? I opened it up yesterday. Wasn't it yesterday? Yeah, yeah, it was yesterday. Yeah. I opened it up. Uh, I put a link if you want to jump in the Amazon test group. I built a group that I'll show you. Me and a whole bunch of other experts on Amazon. People even smarter than me than on Amazon. I do online sales of all types, but I've got ninjas in there teaching you. One of the teachers, um, she's even recording new stuff today down in Miami. She made 500 grand last month, 20% profit. She made like $104,000 last month. That's just one of her streams of income. She sells how, like kitchen stuff. So I'm gonna put a link up here. This is a test group and I'm gonna raise the price as it goes, but I wanna, I let people in yesterday for like super cheap, you'll see. Tylopez.com slash, what was it? Amazon Live. Amazon Live. You don't have to buy it, but this 
you want to learn. So if you have another way you know how to learn, if you have a friend that can teach you Amazon, learn from them. Okay. Marvin said he did 40K last year. Best beginner business for beginners is dropshipping on Amazon or eBay and using retailers like Lowe's to ship the items for you. Yep, charge companies 500 bucks and run 250 worth of ads for their business. Yep, Brian Aldana, that is a business I've been teaching people. I've taught, I think, the most people in history how to do that. I've got about 285,000 paid paying students in the, since 2015. Brian Gonzalez said he did 160 grand on Amazon in 2018. Oh, there's people making, you, you pick a number, there's people doing it right now. There's people making five grand a month on Amazon, there's people making five grand a day. In fact, Liz, who's one of the people that, if you get in this program, will be teaching, one of my followers saw a video that I did with her. He joined her program. He did 230,000 in one day. He's a guy from Columbia. I'm having him come up here. He did, he's doing millions now, but that's his record. He's a master of lightning sales. So there's something called lightning sales on Amazon. And uh, so there's so many angles. I've been doing Amazon affiliate. I've been an affiliate for Amazon. I don't know how long, since so like for like five, six years. I don't mess around with it months anymore, but I used to get a check every single month for 10 grand. I, I'll show you. Let me show you something I did. This is just to show you all the different things that you can do on Amazon. So if you go to my website right here, this is one of the top books pages. Oh, I'm on the wrong. Sorry. <laughs> Got too many laptops up here. Oops, books. Sorry. Damn it. Uh, can't even spell my own name. Okay, so this page right here, I've had this up for years. It just lists my top 60 or 70 books. And then if people buy, I put a link. I'm not even sneaky. People are like, oh, you're being sneaky? I'm like, no. I like say right there, like buy on Amazon. It's an affiliate link. I think we have a description in the bottom that says. But I make like five cents if you buy a book through my link. But, but if people add other stuff to their shopping cart in the same time they buy that book, Amazon gives me affiliate pay on the whole thing. I don't know how much I make now, but I remember I used to, like in 2014, I'd make like 10 grand every month. It was funny. I put this page up just because so many people asked me for my book recommendations. And then um, I was just like, might as well be an affiliate for the largest online company. So I put that, it was just 10 grand in my, it probably lasted at 10 grand for like one or two years. Now I don't promote this page hardly ever, but it still makes me like, Oh, I'm sure, for sure, I could buy, a, a Ferrari was purchased with this page right here, for sure. <laughs> I made more than, I mean, it's just, a Lamborghini was purchased with that, and I would have put that up anyway. That's the crazy thing. So if I didn't have training, I was trained years ago. See, I started on the internet a long, I was one of the first people to be on the internet. I got in Google AdWords, I, I started as a teenager, I got in Google AdWords the month after it started. I got on Facebook ads in the beta time in 08. So I've been around this. So I, because even though I'm a college dropout, I learned from the streets, basically, not literally the streets, but I learned from the school of hard knocks and common sense. And so I did not just put this page up. I did it and I worked exactly well. I had to put 120 images up. This probably took me one hour, maybe three hours of work total. And it made me 10 G's a month for years. Now it probably makes me like two to 5,000 because I don't promote it. But still, you know the better thing, the best thing in this world financially? Free money. If somebody just said, oh, I'll give you 2,000 bucks for doing nothing monthly, you could build a lifestyle off that. If you have predictable income, you could move to Argentina. Two grand a month, you're gonna live in Argentina. All you young people, young dudes, you're like 20, you just wanna live a fun life. Learn how to sell on Amazon, whether it be shipping your own products, whether it be an Amazon agency like we teach. This will teach you how to sell your own products. And I'm gonna put stuff in here on how I do Amazon affiliates. It's crazy, people buy like, the first time somebody bought one of these books. By the way, Harvard told me I've sold more of this book than they've ever sold. I'm the number one Harvard, they don't know I'm not a college graduate, so they think I'm a college graduate because I talk about books. But yeah, Harvard Press told me 
We've never sold this book, but I put it number one. A lot of these books, Arnold Schwarzenegger, I know Arnold Schwarzenegger, I told him, Arnold, I guarantee you I've sold the most of your books. He was like, well, thank you. <laughs> I made him money. It's like a win-win. It's an ultimate win. Think about it. I made like a dime every time somebody bought this book. But if they all, one time I saw a guy, he threw, he bought a lawnmower, like a riding one. They're like three grand. And Amazon gave me like 300 bucks for that. And I was like, that's because I thought I would never make money from this. I almost took it down. But I was like, no, understand the principles of recurring revenue. Never scoff at even one penny of free recurring passive income. This is true passive income. People will tell you a passive income formula. Most of them are full of crap. They still work. All you have to do is say, realistically, how many hours do you actually spend per month? It's nothing on this for a year. If you added it up over five years and divided it back, I've spent like three seconds a day of my life on this to make you know, a couple hundred. And I'm not telling you this to brag. Go do this yourself. You know who made the most money? Here's a great bit. I'm going to give you guys a $20 million business plan for free. You open up. So there's a kid um, who made... Last year, YouTube published this kid right here. He is six, and he made 11 million in 2017. This year, December 5th, 2018, USA Today. Can you guys see this article? Do I need to scroll up? Yeah, scroll up. Scroll up. He made 22 million. He's seven now. People go, oh, all this stuff online is a scam. No, what does he do? He reviews toys. Then what can you do? Drive them to buy the toys with either your own store, which you can build here. You can have your own products or sell other people's products, and you can also have an affiliate link on top of that. Because some products you can't, like if they're patented, trademarked, you can't, what happened? You can't sell it yourself. So this kid, <laughs> this just blows my mind. This kid is making, 22 million, oops, sorry, 22 million, seven years old, last, let's just do the math together. He made 11 million last year. What is that math? Who's good at math? Who has a brain? The guy made over, a kid between age six, I'm sorry, between age seven and eight, made $30 million. Now, obviously he has to do it with his dad because by law, they cannot, you can't have a bank account at seven by yourself. What does the kid do? So when, remember when I did this $100 giveaway a few minutes ago and I said, give me an idea anybody could do? Well, there was an idea a seven-year-old did. Are you as smart as a seven-year-old? And the answer, unfortunately, is if you've gone through the modern school system, you may not be as smart as a seven-year-old. I mean, or a seven-year-old and his dad. And so all you gotta do, somebody said, Ty, I don't have a brain, I have fat. Okay. Well, good. The more people like you, the less competition. <laughs> people are like, Todd, this is too hard to do. I'm like, good. Then it'll be easier for everybody who puts in the work. But that's just, there's the kid. Now, maybe you say, oh, he's a kid. I don't know what excuses people will use for this. But what you can do is the simplest thing known to mankind. Review products on YouTube, which is the second largest search platform in the world. Google's number one. They also own YouTube. You can put video reviews of anything. Let's say you like iPhone covers. Let's say you're big into, I don't know, magic markers. Um, electronics is a good one. Do what they call unboxing videos. You unbox stuff. Shoes. I got today's kicks of the day. Unbox shoes. Then you go and you link your YouTube Two, you can have a Shopify store also, or a ClickFunnels store, but you definitely want to be here on Amazon. Why? Because they have hundreds of millions of credit cards stored. So let's say you review all you who, who have kids, stay at home moms, stay at home dads, toys. You can either sell it on your own or you can do it as an affiliate program. You have more upside. Let's see, what's the number one selling toy? Baby Einstein, what in the world is this name? Dog Madu? I don't know much about toy. Do oh yeah, this is the doo doo thing. Doo doo mag sadadadoo. Seven dollars. 
you could review that, put a link to it, and get a percentage from Amazon. As I said, there's like 10 ways to generate income. You can do ebooks. You could sell, you can sell actual books. You know that like people like uh, what's the thing? What's that romance novel that made so much money? No, no, not Twilight, the new one. Fifty Shades of Grey. Fifty Shades of Grey, I'm pretty sure she started on Amazon. I could be wrong, but let me look here. Fifty Shades of Grey. And you know how much those movies make now? Insane. Oh, wait. Somebody has 59 Shades of Grey. Ha! There you go. E.L. James. Yep, see? She's got a Kindle version. Fifty Shades of Grey. Let's just do the math. She has 75,000, 73,000 reviews. Uh, yeah. What the heck? Let me just click in this. And she, you should read her story. All you who are introverts, yeah, 73,000 reviews. Let's see what her bestseller ranking is. A little trick out to, she's only, look, she's 5,477. Number 262 in romance, holidays. So she's not even the top book, but let me show you something. You want to really be creative? She leveraged the book into an ebook into a film series. 50, and I promise you, every ticket people buy. They didn't put out a Fifty Shades of Grey for this Valentine? No, I think they're done. They did them all last year. I thought they were doing one more. Watch this. You go to this site called Box Office Mojo. Look at this. Fifty Shades of Grey, this is the Fifty Shades series of movies. Mark my word, she got a cut on every ticket sold. Now, that's only U.S. This is a BS number. Let's look in here. It definitely did more. Yeah, each movie. Overseas, only U.S. only did 166. Overseas, 404. One of them did 571. I hate this about box office mojo. I'm like, why do they not consider global to be... So one did 571, one did 381, so that's basically right around a billion, and the last one did 370. 1 1.3 billion, she leveraged off Amazon, another stream of income. You wanna learn how to do that? Tylopas.com slash Amazon live, okay? I'm raising the prices basically every day for the next seven days. Um, how many people got in yesterday? Let me look. Let's see how many got in. In the last 24 hours, 329 people got into the training program. And I haven't advertised it yet. I haven't put it on my Instagram or anything. I just mentioned it on this live call. This is a massive, massive, massive opportunity. Mark my words. And the more people that get in, somebody said, I want to wait till the seventh day to join. Great, because then they'll be the most expensive. You are very intelligent and good for me to do it that way. Um, there's an expansion that calculates and exposes revenue of Amazon products. Yeah, there, there's other websites. Ty, are you related to the rapper 669? No. Do I look like him? Eat, Pray, Love by Elizabeth did the same thing, book into a movie. What I'm trying to say is there's like every possible angle is available to you guys right now, literally. Hold on. So what questions do we have? Dun, dun, dun. I know it's Friday night. We got 1,700 people live on Instagram, 2,700 on YouTube. I don't even look at Facebook and Twitter. I don't stream much. Lowly Facebook has 191. What does Twitter have? 88. I like YouTube and Instagram. Those are my two favorite platforms. 3,000 on, uh, on one and 2,000 on the other. Thigh, food, sex, and religion are hot topics. Learn to sell on Amazon. So here's the, I'm just going to die. I got to go in a couple minutes, but I want to dissect real fast. I've already dissected two different business strategies off um, Amazon. I gave you my exact strategy, generated six figures with one, two hours of work, doing product reviews and then do an affiliate link, okay? That's one and two, or there's two angles on that. You can drive affiliate to third-party products or drive the traffic to your own product that you drop ship, 
Okay, you can also drive, drive it to your own site. You can give people a choice between buying on Amazon or buying on your own site. Okay, that's the next thing is picking a product. So let's just pick a product. Al, besides Yayo, Zach, what is a product you use today? Uh, my cell phone cover. What else? Give me a couple. Uh, pens. What else? Give me five things. Uh, Did coffee you? mug. Okay. I don't like coffee mugs that much. Ah, okay. Uh, what about the things you use for shaking? Your, what do you call those? Protein things? mix shakers? Little. Yeah. Uh, is that all you use every day, Zach? You use a pen, uh, an iPhone cover, and a protein shake? No, no, I'm just I'm under a lot of pressure here. Do you wear deodorant? Do you brush your teeth? I, I comb my hair. You comb your hair. Dryer. How about a hair dryer? Hair dryer. Okay, we're getting a little bit into household goods. Hemorrhoid cream. Hemorrhoid cream. Uh, okay. Um, Let's look here at a couple things you're going to learn in the program that I'll teach you. Number one, you want to focus on brand creation, not just products. So this is the angle, not products. No, no, no. When you think product based, you cut the length of time you're going to make money on your efforts. So for example, going back to me having a link to my books here, the reason that that continually works is because I have a brand, Ty Lopez, that's associated with reading. So by building a long-term brand, this continues to make money. I don't have to keep pushing it. If you just go, I want to quickly do vacuum cleaners or like Zach, you want to quickly do a hair dryer. What I would try to do is build a hair dryer brand. So how do we do it? Simple. First, we're going to start by doing some product research. I don't know if I've, I'll do a little bit. Let's just look at the top one. What? shows number one you don't need 1700 reviews anymore um, best selling so this is number five in appliances that means Zach you, you're when people look up appliances they are apparently really into hair dryers now Conair is a Conair is a big brand right so I'm gonna try to look at this the second thing I'm gonna do is go what's my competitive edge well one thing they don't have it's a low price product so it's not the Ferrari version, it's the, you know, Pinto version. They don't have videos demonstrating. What if you build an actual hair brand? My friends build a brand called Luxie Hair, which has like hair extension. It's a whole brand, Luxie. And they make six million bucks a year. I think they just, I'm not sure. I got a good idea for a video on the landing page of a hair dryer. What would you do? Show somebody laying in bed and they turn the hair dryer on in bed with them. Okay. It's a very funny image. Zach. A joke about when I was in Vegas. Oh, yes, I forgot. Zach, we went to Vegas. Zach didn't have his noise machine to sleep, so we, we knocked on the door because we were going like gambling, and we're like, yo, Zach. And you know what, Zach? We hear a, va we hear a hair dryer going. So I'm like, dude, Zach must have fallen, hit his head, and he's like knocked out. So I'm like, we got to kick down the door. We got it. So we went, we didn't kick down the door. We went down and got the key. We like break in expecting him to be like bloody in the bathroom. He's, <laughs> I still can't believe he was sleeping in a bed with a hair dryer to make the noise. I'm like, you're going to set this place on fire. The wind hotel burnt down by strange. Anyway. Yeah. There you go. You could do weird stories. Um, yeah, I, don't, I wouldn't recommend that, but thank you, Zach, for that, that anecdote. I w videos, people aren't doing enough video demonstrations. I would build a whole brand. This is my friend, uh, Mimi and Alex, they built this called Luxie. It's a good homepage, by the way, good web di website design. Instantly catches your eye. All the guys in the room are like, ah, Rick is <laughs> going around the column. Rick was sitting behind the column. As I said that, Rick was going. Uh, but their market is women, not you, Rick. Do you use hair extension? You could. I probably need them. That would be a very scary sight to see Rick in hair extensions. Um, but they built this to a $6 million brand. Uh, and you see they have a whole story. And they, they're beyond. This is what's lacking on Amazon. And this is what I'm going to train you that nobody in the world that I know of is training in the way I'm going to do it. Because... I've been focused on how to create, use social media to create brands. Watch this. We go to Instagram. Let me just see who has this brand right here. Hair dryer. 
We go to Instagram.com, try to buy this off somebody. Let's see if anybody even has it. Look at this. Oh my gosh. So I would try to contact this person and pay him 100 bucks, 500 bucks. You might, it's probably some 14 year old weird kid. He's got Dr. Phil in an M&M. Okay, that's great. Anyway, I would then start building a brand. You can see what my friends did here with Alex and Mimi. Here's, let's see what their Instagram this links to. They've got a Luxie hair one. They got 500,000 followers. They're posting videos on how to do your hair. There you go, Rick. Uh, Zach, you guys can do this. Are you a fan of her hair? See, they're building a brand and all these companies like Conair. I don't know how that's, is that like Conair? It's just like, I would get Nicolas Cage to be like, forget Conair. That's a, another good movie. But this brands are, these type of brands are gonna disappear because people don't want faceless brands anymore. Ta, you changed my sister's life with your SMMA program. Thanks so much. Awesome. Jorge Amazwakua said, I just joined your Amazon program right now. Sweet. Um, let me read off the name of, how much time we got left? 17 minutes. All right, I'm leaving here in 15 minutes. Let me just look up something. What was I just looking at? Oh, oh I was gonna name off some people that are jumping in the test group. So in this, there's two things in the test group. If you get in the Amazon sales blueprint program, you can do a 10 day crash course version of it. I recommend everyone start with that. Amazon sales blueprint. There's a 10 day crash course quick start version. Okay, that'll just get you like our 10 best training lessons, 10 days. And then we have a full four month program with a certification at the end, an Amazon seller. Now we're not, this is not from Amazon. I don't, don't wanna get Jeff Bezos mad at me, but it's an Amazon selling certification to, that you've gone through these four months. That way you can kind of feel good knowing you've learned every single angle that we know um, how to teach you. This is huge money. Huge money is being generated on Amazon on that right there. They're number five in appliances. Think of how many they're moving a day. It's a crazy market. Is the crash course free? No, it's not completely free because I don't want everybody to get all this stuff. Then we create too much competition, but I priced it crazy low. Just click on the link there, either below on your platform, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, we, we pin the comment, or you can just go to tylopez.com slash Amazon Live. All right, let me read the name of some people getting in right now. We got Gabrielle Halecus. Oh, no, no, that's a different pro product. Amazon Sales Formula, Nick G from Hylia, Florida. Ali Ahmadi from Saudi Arabia. Paul Shaw from Pompano Beach. J uh, Jonathan Molina from Gilroy, California. Peoria, Arizona, Jackson, Mississippi, San Diego, California, Hong Kong, somebody just got in. I told you, this thing works everywhere in the world. This is the answer for everybody who goes, oh, I don't live near a big city. You could live in the middle of nowhere. I have a farm in one of the smallest places in terms of population in the United States. You could sit at home on a nice, I have a log cabin there. It's in the middle of an Amish community. It's the most tranquil, peaceful place on earth. I ain't bothered. Like here, I'm in the heart of Manhattan right here. And I got a place in the heart of LA and London and Miami. And sometimes I get sick of people. So I fly up there. I go, it's a two hours to an airport. They do have a, believe it or not, a private airport. You can, I take a jet sometimes. You land 15 minutes from the farm. I'm pretty much the only person that jets in that place in the last 30 years. Like nobody goes there, but they have an old jet, uh, private airstrip there. So I go, I got a pickup truck, go there. I could, you could sit here with that Amazon right here, sit in your log house. I got 13 horses. I got, uh, now I just bought it at the neighboring 30 acres. So I have 150, it's 153 plus like 31. So I have like 180 acres, a mile of Creek fun. A lot of you have seen it on my Snapchat. It is the best thing you've ever seen. And I could sit there and not see my income decrease at all. I could travel to London, Miami, learn to sell on Amazon. Somebody said, is Amazon gonna die? I don't know, are you gonna die? Like everything's gonna die one day, but hopefully not anytime soon. Yes, one day Amazon won't work, but I bet you it'll be here 
as long as any big company. In fact, if I had to bet what company is going to be around, I think Amazon will be here long beyond Facebook. I could be wrong. It's hard to predict the future, but let me tell you why. More people are going to Amazon every day and less people are going to Facebook. Simple demographic shifts. Amazon's kind of boring, you know? I'm sorry, uh, Facebook is getting boring for people. Although, a few of you are on. Sorry for all you. I don't know. I've just insulted my lowly 163 Facebook people. Um, YouTube, I like. I think YouTube will be around. You know why YouTube's going to be around? You know how much stuff people uploaded to YouTube? I ain't going nowhere. Nowhere. I got, and YouTube still. I mean, the president posts on YouTube. Prime ministers post on YouTube. That's a good sign that you're platform is going to be around. They do on Facebook, but yeah. Anyway, I'm not going to keep talking about it. Ben Gr Goss. Ty, I love your content. I'm a seven-figure Amazon seller with a mix of arbitrage and wholesale. Just want... Yeah, I hope, Ty, what you're teaching isn't quick crash grab with bad info. Nope. Ben, I'm bringing in all... I have a ton of Amazon experts who follow me. I'm flying them all in. I flew Liz in from... She's a badass. She's making 500 Gs, 100,000 net, and she doesn't even work on it anymore. She outsourced it. She got a couple of Filipino people who run it from the Philippines for her. So she's teaching. I bring in basically people who done it. I'm sharing my formula, how I do it. Even though Amazon's not my core thing, branding is my core thing. And I've been on Amazon for more than five years selling. And me and my business partner, Alex, have sold $1 billion online. So I hope that qualifies us a teeny bit. I know some of you have sold a million bucks a year, and I think you're qualified, but we're in the 10 figures online. Not all on Amazon, but 10 figures is 10 figures. And um, we've also spent $500 million on ads. I haven't even gotten into what we're gonna train you. You need to drive traffic to your product through PPC, through social media. There's a lot of strategies, and that's something that you know I know how to do because I've driven crazy. I mean, am I, let's see what I'm at today. This is my YouTube channel. I'll show you guys my live analytics. I'm opening the app right there. I'm not even cheating. Go to analytics. My watch time on my videos since 2015, I'm at 1.85 billion minutes watched. 1.85 billion. So what we're gonna teach you is a combination of what I know what my friends know, and um, what other experts globally know. So I don't like to build a cult. I don't have all the answers. I'm not gonna teach you. I, don't, I can't teach you everything. Nobody can teach, no one person will ever teach you anything. What I will tell you, I'll teach you what I know, and then I'll bring in the people to teach you the stuff I don't know. Okay, we gotta go in a second. How much time we got left? 11, 11 minutes, and I still have to give away I only gave away two people. I gotta give $800 away. So I might give one person 800 bucks or two, I'll probably give two people 400 bucks in a second. Uh, sorry, I just had to do one thing, unrelated. Ty, how do you sell food on Amazon? So don't start with necessary, well food is easy. If you mean like, you know, dried fruit or something or protein drinks, shakes or something. If you buy food, you mean like sell lettuce. Um, Amazon does that. They have Amazon Fresh. They own Whole Foods. So don't start with that. Start with stuff you're going to win at. People are always like, Ty, how do I sell the hardest thing in the world? I'm like, you don't. That's, it's like, how do you sell an underwater ba basket weaving program book? You don't. That's the correct answer to that. There is no, Charlie Munger says you can't polish a turd. Some ideas are a turd. Don't try to polish them up. They're still a turd. Mike said, Ty, I'm in your social media marketing course and it's the best investment I've ever made. Cool, thank you, Mike. Um, somebody said, Tom said, Ty, it's the anniversary of my dad's death. I'm 19 years old. No excuses, I'm in the SMMA course, e-commerce after. Sorry for your loss and uh, glad you're moving forward, man. Always focus on the future as much as you can. The past is always a bitch. Peter said, Ty, I just got in the program. How do modern businesses beat multi-million dollar corps? Daniel, that is such a good question. I'm gonna send you a hundred bucks. Your, send me your reply with your email on YouTube. Dan, Daniel Gendelberg. 
I went over this yesterday. I showed you how stupid Louis Vuitton is by not being on Amazon. You know how you beat them? You build a, you build a competitor to Louis Vuitton, like a lower priced one, and you put it on Amazon. And you'll, you'll have more sales per visit than even big brands like Louis Vuitton. Now, you might not have as many visits as Louis Vuitton, but your EPC, earnings per visit per click, is gonna be higher, mark my words. Mark my words. And that's how slowly but surely big brands disappear. Ask Toys R Us, ask Sears, ask American Apparel. You make mistakes in this modern world, someone's gonna take you out in a heartbeat because people are learning and they're watching. They're on videos like that. We got thousands, it's Friday night, a lot of people out partying, but no, we got 2,955 people watching on just YouTube, 1,785 on Instagram right now. So we're at roughly, and then if you add the other platforms, we're at 5,000 people watching right now. About 50 to 100,000 people will watch this. So not everybody will act on it, but your competition is there if you don't act. That's why I say, I'm not trying this, whether you buy this program or not, it, it's fine for me. But you gotta ask yourself, what are your other options in the modern world? You can get a nine to five job, 80% of people hate them. You can be broke all the time. 80% of the world's broke. You know the top 10 people, top 10 people in the world have more money, net worth, than the bottom half of the world. I'm not saying that's even good. It's kind of messed up, but I can't, I don't know how to fix it. But there's an old saying, if you can't beat them, join them. It's not a bad saying. You're not gonna always fix the world. Maybe you go into politics, but even then, you know who's gonna fix the world? Good entrepreneurs. Elon Musk is doing more than 99% of government initiatives. You see, the, gov I mean, the government messes stuff up. I'm not even a Republican or Democrat. I'm more a libertarian. I'm like, less government, please. You ever been to the post office versus FedEx? I had to go in the post office the other day. This dude, so I come in there, there's like a minute left to have an important package. This guy, he may not even been alive. He might have propped himself up or sleeping. He was like, and I just go up. I'm the only dude in the place. There's one other person, I'm just like, I was like, eh, and he's like, just put it on the counter. <laughs> FedEx comes to your house and picks it up, just your one package. Private enterprise versus government intervention. That's all I'll say on that. Whether you like Donald Trump or Hillary, blah, 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 blah. Most politicians are all crooked, by the way. Most of them. Since about, uh, you ever read the Roman Empire history? Every one of the Caesars was corrupt. Pretty much everybody's been, there There was people in history, politicians named Ivan the Terrible. Imagine what kind of pre, what kind of guy you are if your name is Ivan the Terrible. There was a guy named Mumbarak the Bloodthirsty. He used to build his whole castle walls out of the skulls of people who made him mad. So all the people that are like Donald Trump or Hillary Clinton or Obama, I'm like, nah, they're all kind of like Mubarak the Bloodthirsty. So build your own life, forget the government, the news trying to make money off you. Why is Ty talking so fast? It's because I have five minutes on Instagram. All politicians are con men. I would say not every single one, but most of them. Most of them. Oops. Hold on a second. Damn it. What did you say, Alex? I mean, uh, uh-oh. I just put in the wrong Uber address for someone. You ever do that with Uber where you put in the address where you are? Damn it. Okay, Uber's interface is a tad bit complicated. Sorry to be doing this, but I got a life too. What time do you wake up? Ty, you have so many visitors, but big corporations steal small business ideas. Nah, don't worry about that. I mean, Sears didn't steal it. Sears was the biggest corporation for a thousand years. I mean, a thousand years, a hundred years, or maybe not a hundred, but for 50 years. They were massive top five company. They didn't steal it. These companies get too stupid. They get too bloated, you know? Someone suggested Ty Lopez merchandise. Yeah, people do that already. They sell my merchandise. No one's yet sold me a dollar, sent me a dollar, but I don't even care. Keep the money. Ty, would you consider Jeff Bezos the best businessman ever? No. Or alive? No. Warren Buffett. Because he has almost the same net worth, but he has 92 streams of income. And Jeff Bezos just has Amazon, maybe AWS, and his other private holdings. Better to have your money spread in 92 sources of income than to have one or two.
You know what I mean? Don't put all your eggs in one basket. And Warren Buffett, he, yeah. Warren Buffett's the godfather. He's like literally the god. He's like Scarface. Okay, go here, tylopez.com slash Amazon Live. You'll get access to the 10-day crash course. And then if you want to, you can upgrade right away to the four-month certification program. I'm gonna walk, we're gonna walk you step by step. You can do it on your phone, you can do it on your laptop. You're gonna get a password protected login. Don't share it with anybody or it'll lock you all out, okay? But you can use it for yourself. It's for you. Tell your friends, buy their own. It's not very expensive. I priced the 10 day crash course ridiculously low. You'll see, it's not even 100 bucks. So I'm not even sure what it is, but it's way below 100 bucks. The four month program is about, uh, a 20th of what a college degree costs. But it's got a lot better chance of making you money, in my opinion, unless you're gonna be a medical doctor or something like that, which is great. We need more doctors too. But if you're not gonna be a doctor, if you feign at blood like Zach does, um, then better off not to. That's all an act. I just do it so I don't have to deal with the problem. Other people can sew them up. What, Zach? <laughs> I pretend to feign so I don't have to Two minutes. <laughs> okay, Zach, help me here, cause I gotta, I gotta go. Zach is the stupidest. Dude, what is the hell? I'm telling you, Uber's got a flaw. I put in the address that I want, and I say I don't want that for my. That's not the pickup address. Damn you. <laughs> wow. Okay. Man, nobody's submitting anything. Well, I didn't give the contest yet. Okay. Two people are gonna get $400. Whoever paid attention. Uh, what did I say is the name of my friend's hair brand? That's number one. And who did I say owns one-tenth of Mexico? 800, 400 bucks each for each answer. The first person I see. My, the name of my friend's hair brand. That build a, there we go. Fortune, here, it, I'll just, Fortuna Major, you gotta put, Fortuna, it's Luxy Hair. Fortuna Major gets 400. I got another 400. Email. That's 1100. Yeah, I need your email. Comment Fortuna Major. All right, I'm looking on the other platforms now. I'm looking on Twitter. Let's look on Instagram. I've got the. There we go. P. Titmus. It's an interesting name. P. Titmus Carlos Slim owns one tenth of Mexico. Thanks for paying attention. I'm going to be back on here tomorrow. I believe in this Amazon thing so much. I'm training people. I'm getting you in. This is big thing. Learn how to sell products on Amazon. Tylopez.com slash Amazon live. Remember, you got 24 hours. I'm going to keep raising the price for this seven-day test group. You snooze, you lose. Okay? I'm out. See you guys tomorrow live.